Welcome to EDI. Today we will be demonstrating the fallacy of combining a tube aerator mixer and a fine bubble diffuser using a fixed orifice. Here is a demonstration unit with a fine bubble tube diffuser on the left and a static tube aerator mixer with a quarter inch engineered orifice on the right. That orifice has been designed to split the air between the fine bubble diffuser and the static tube at a certain percentage that will provide the oxygen needed for biological treatment. As we turn the airflow down, less air is going through the fine bubble diffuser while air is still coming out of the static tube. The engineered orifice only provides the proper splitting of air to meet the design criteria at a single specified airflow. The net result is a system that works only for a single design point with little to no flexibility for loading above or below the design point. For the last part of this demonstration, we will demonstrate the mixing capability of the fine bubble versus the static tube. We've dropped in pellets that have a specific gravity slightly greater than one. Note the pellets stay in suspension on the fine bubble side while they settle out more quickly on the static tube side. That is because fine bubble aeration provides a greater volume of pumpage than coarse bubble. The static tube can suspend larger particles by greater buoyant force that is focused directly below the tube, but only if those larger particles are located directly below the tube. In conclusion, limitations on airflow variation, oxygen transfer problems, fouling, and reduced pumping capacity make the combination of fine bubble aeration with static tubes a poor choice for long-term aeration in lagoons. We invite you to engage one of the design specialists at EDI's Lagoon Solutions so we can apply our expertise to your specific project goals.